All right, guys, welcome back to a video. Um, if this is your first time here, thank you for, for watching, first off. Second, if you do enjoy the video, you know, wh whenever it hits you, please hit the like button. It's very much appreciated. But I'm going to be talking about elementary OS and me switching to it. So if you want to get a little bit of backstory on why me switching to elementary OS might be completely weird. I did a video not too long ago on why distro hopping is, is sort of stupid nowadays and um, I had just a bad experience with it. So I'll throw that up. You can check it out if you if you want to. Definitely pause this video, watch it, and then come back. Thank you. Now let's go ahead and talk about why I'm switching over to elementary OS and uh, why I really, really like it. Um, so for one, I've used elementary uh, OS in the past, never had an issue with it, always liked it, but I ended up just during my Linux journey, just moving on from it and um, what I thought was onto greener pastures. However, coming back to elementary OS, um, I was going to do a video on it, and uh, to be honest, I was I was just doing a video in a virtual machine. But during the video, I just I I found that I really really liked it and wanted to see if I could make it my daily driver. And um, today, this video is coming out quite quite later in the day than normally when I post because I've spent the entire day, you know, just using the operating system. Um, I wouldn't say theming it, but um, just getting it to how I would like to use it. And um, yeah, so let's go ahead and talk about it. First things first is the App Store. When it comes to elementary OS, most people who've heard of it already know that the elementary OS App Store is fantastic. And more than that, the entire user experience of elementary OS is outstanding. Um, after, you know, getting back into it um, today, I see no reason why we should be recommending people to use Ubuntu or any other distribution other than elementary as their first. Um, it is remarkably easy to install. It looks fantastic. And then when it comes to usability, it's, oh, it, it, it's just so good. So here in the app store, one thing that might throw off um, some people is if we go in here, you'll see that some of the software, it, it, it's, it's asking for money. And if you click on it, it'll, it'll ask you for your card info. Now, a lot of people, um, if you're new to Linux, you might think free and open source software means it's free as in price and open source. With, so you can you know view the source code. That's not necessarily the case at all. Uh, free means freedom. So you have the freedom to look at the code. But you can also charge money for free and open source software. There's nothing saying you can't. But the way um, elementary OS goes about charging for software, I think it's fantastic. So if you wanted to go in here, let's say you wanted to get this agenda here to get things done. You can just go in here and instead of, like you, you have the default three, or if you'd like to give more because you really enjoy it, you can, or you can just do zero. And then if I was to press enter right there, or, or excuse me, click off of it, enter either one. If I pressed enter, it would, it would immediately start um, downloading it, you know, for free, but I don't, I don't need this agenda. So, but you can, you can get it for free. It's not a problem. And, and, you know, just if you really like it, enjoy it, come back to it and, and give some money for it. Um, but I really like the way this is set up because it's, it's sort of, uh, it, it, make, it makes you realize that, hey, you know, just in case you weren't thinking about it, the people behind this software have worked hard on it. And if you can, give them a little bit of, you know, monetary support. I, I like this. I like this a lot. Now, I do want to go ahead and say, I'm sure there are plenty of new people who will come out here and be like, wait, I've got to pay for it. But hopefully, they'll have the curiosity enough to click on the drop down menu next to it. So the app center here is also full of stuff. 
So I just wanted to go ahead and also talk about Discord on here because I have a feeling that um, I have to use Discord for a couple things. Um, so I know that there are plenty of people out there who might be coming over to Elementary OS using it as their first Linux distro. And when they go in here to the App Store and search Discord, you know, it's not in here. There's plenty of stuff in here. You can even get uh, Telegram, which I actually do need to go ahead and download and get that. So we'll install it. It will ask me for my password. And if I don't enter the wrong one, it will actually work. There we go. And so you can download Telegram, you know, but Discord's not in here. So how can we get Discord on here? Well, so Elementary OS is an Ubuntu based uh, distribution. They've made quite a few changes to it, but it is uh, an Ubuntu derivative. But if we go on here and search Eddy, this is a fantastic little program for installing, managing, doing all the stuff that you need to with .deb files. So um, I, I love this program. Um, if I had my card information ready and where no one could see it, I'd definitely give them a little bit um, more cash because I have, I, have, I have donated to Eddie before, but um, because it's an awesome tool. I just, I, I think it's awesome. So install Eddy. As soon as you've got it installed, um, what you want to do is just head on over here to the browser, which I'll be talking about the new version of elementary OS here in just a second. But um, let's go and get Discord uh, for download. And once you come over here to the download page, it'll tell you download for Linux. You'll want to choose a dev file. And you can just open it straight up with Eddie, which we'll go ahead and do that. Eddie pops up, and then we can just click install. It'll ask you for your password. Install. Running, running. Bada bing, finished. Now we can just close out of Eddie. And if we go back over here to my other workspace, uh, and we click down here in the drop down, you'll see there's Discord. I'll plop it down here. And we can open it up, and Discord is installed easy peasy lemon squeezy and it was very user friendly too now you could have you know skipped the eddie part but for those of you who don't know about eddie hopefully that was a that was a gift to learn about but um i, I really like eddie now another thing that i'm i'm, I'm going to talk about is so i am a window manager user or at least i was and um i was I mean, I really do like the keyboard-driven aspect of tiling window managers and the non-wasted screen real estate of window managers. So one of the things about elementary OS that I really like is the um, options for you know uh, setting up shortcuts and um, how versatile you can you, you can make it. So um, when it comes to other you know, um, desktop environments. I've always had a little bit of a problem um, when it comes to setting up shortcuts and um, just making it feel really snappy to use. So I have all of the shortcuts that I would use in my tiling window managers here. I can close this window by just pressing Q. I can open up my GIMP just by pressing Mod G um, or Super G, which is the Windows key, if you're unfamiliar with that. Um, uh, to open up a terminal, I just press Mod Enter. Um, and then Mod Shift Enter will bring up my Applications menu, which is essentially just, you know, if you're used to using a Run Launcher, like D-Menu, Rofi, something like that, you know, you can treat it just about the same way. But I, I have to be honest, this out of the box is a fantastic experience. Everything just works when it comes to elementary OS out of the box, um, but it's snappy. So um, let's go ahead and sh I'll show you why I really, really like um, elementary OS. Uh, for, for one thing also, I, I'm not too fond of this, but I can see why it's a very useful feature for newcomers. Whenever you just press the mod button, you'll get this little pop up here and it'll show you all the shortcuts that you have, except for it does not show you your custom uh, um, shortcuts. Like I have one for VLC. I can just press mod V and it'll open up VLC. It doesn't show me that, but uh, that's really, that's a, a very minor gripe. Uh, now, one thing, that before I go ahead and do too much in here, I'll go ahead and show you. Let's, let's open up the calendar and um, 
uh, what was I going to show you? Oh yeah, so the calendar here, yeah. Uh, it's white, and then if I open up code, you'll see it's dark. So in the next version of Elementary OS, there the system-wide dark theme is, is, is coming out, but right now it's, it's not there. So you'll see like, I have Firefox over here as my dark theme. It, you know, it looks dark, but not everything is going to be um, or have an option so uh, so that you can choose to have it dark or light or or you know anything so if you're if you're like me and dark dark mode is like a very key feature to have um, I, I would say you'll most likely if you're looking and think elementary OS is a good fit for you you're gonna have to put up with not having a system-wide dark theme or dark mode for a little while so hopefully here before too long the new elementary OS 6 release comes out but let's go ahead and talk about some of the really nice features of elementary OS when it comes to sort of using up your screen real estate so um, mod up is a keyboard shortcut for maximize so that'll maximize take it up the full window and then what we can do is do mod control and uh, do the arrow to either side and now it's going to take up half the screen. If we go over here, grab our calendar mod control and put it over to the left. It, it tiles up and it's going to take up the entire half side of the screen. And this I really, really do like because I mean, honestly, when it comes to tiling window managers and stuff, really most of the time what you're doing is having two programs taking up, you know, the entire screen. So I really like this. It's it's simple, keyboard driven. Um, if we go mod space, we'll get a, a view of all the programs you, you have open, um, which I've changed that keyboard shortcut because again, so some of these are different. When you get in, you'll have different ones to do this, but just go in, look at your shortcuts. You'll see what's going on. It's, it's not complicated at all. They do a pretty good job of making it really easy to read, really easy to understand, but um, we can do uh, mod space again to get out of there and then mod uh, and then the down arrow will let you see the workspaces that you have so you can cycle through these and again it's super snappy super responsive um, really like it and yeah so overall it's a very it's a very responsive system it's very fast um, I like that I can just I can still control stuff with my um, keyboard shortcuts. I I love the UI, how how just awesome it is. It's it it looks great. It's fast. Um, it's extremely easy to understand. It's extremely user friendly, um, and it just works. So even though I might could use something else. I think I'm going to be sticking with this. I'm really enjoying it so far and I'll be doing another video um, sort of as a follow-up um, after the, it's been seven days. I'll do a full, you know, a week with elementary OS video. So if you want to see that one, definitely subscribe, stay tuned for it. And, you know, if you really, really want to see it and support the channel and be just awesome, go over, start watching me over on Odyssey. The link will be down in the description. Um, it's a fantastic platform. You know, unlike YouTube, it respects you. You get rewards for using the platform. You can keep them, uh, or you, you get you get LBC, the cryptocurrency platform is based off of. But you can hoard it for yourself, give it to your favorite you know video creators. And I don't know about everyone else, but I at least very much appreciate it. And I'll be throwing up the screen now of all the people that support me over on Odyssey or LBRY, whatever you want to call it. But uh, it's the LBRY network, but or protocol with Odyssey being a front end. So yeah, don't, don't think I needed to explain it, but hey, there you go. Also, you can support me over on LibrePay, and it's very, very much appreciated if you do go over there and do that. Um, if you would like to be the first person over there supporting me and get your name put up there, you know, in big, bold letters, please, please, please go over there and do it. Because right now, I'm having a little bit of problem trying to get uh, LBC out of an exchange. So, um, yeah, it's just been a little wonky. So, 
if you do want to go ahead and, and support me, you know, monetarily and, and, and get your name thrown up in the videos, definitely go over to LibrePay because it's, uh, for one, it's the only way that I right now have easy access to, um, to any, you know, money that comes in through the channel. So, um, yeah, just if you want to be that person and, su and support me and get your name put up there, definitely go over to LibrePay. Just, uh, Bitrex right now is just, it's just being an absolute turd, which if any of you use exchanges or have to deal with crypto at all, Bitrex is an exchange and they're just... It's just not being super kind to me right now, but hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you, you will like it and uh, you'll come back and see some more. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.